I hope you're all well. Welcome to my channel. This is where I talk about Twin Flame process and these are the monthly videos by Sunsign for August 2023. If anybody wants to get a more detailed personal reading or do a session you can contact me through my website and the link is in the description box below. Hope you all have a good month. See you in the next video. Bye. Libra. August 2023. So what have we got for Libra? All right, so I'm seeing something. Okay, it, seeing this is a boat. This is like the, they show me the front of a boat, like the V shape of the front of the boat. And the boat is arriving at a dock. Um, something sticking out in the water and it's arriving there. But you can't see upwards. So like I say, you can see the front of the V of the boat. Um, that it's arriving somewhere because I can see something in front of it, but there is nothing above. So you can't see where you're arriving or what's going on there. In fact, the thing that it's arriving at looks a little bit like a tangled bit of rope uh, covered in tar or something. It's like you really can't see much at all of where you're arriving. Um, there's That's fear, right? So when I'm seeing this arrival and this like tangly bit of rope and it's got tar on it, I mean, it doesn't look very nice. It looks like, ooh, what's that? Uh, it's fear. So it's you arriving at somewhere that you've been afraid to get to, basically, Libra. and um, But you can't see what's there yet. So it's not to be afraid of. It's just that there's been fear in getting there. So you've had to go through, you know, you're still at a place where you're you're getting to somewhere and there's been a lot of fear involved in getting there and you still can't see where you are. But when you look up from this place, you're going to see that it's absolutely beautiful. In fact, they just said Lemuria which is the most beautiful place. <laughs> um, and if you want to know what Lemuria looks like, if you don't know anything about Lemuria, just imagine Hawaii with like waterfalls and flora and fauna all around and it's just absolutely idyllic and beautiful and um, natural. Um, that is what Lemuria looks like. Okay, so you arrive at paradise. You are arriving in paradise. You just can't see upwards yet, so you don't understand that it's paradise. But arriving, you are, and get out of the boat, you will, they're saying. Um, it's a very, very like powerful month as well for Libra. And in terms of where you're at, there's a lot of strength this month. You have a lot of strength. You have a lot of desire. You have a lot of willpower, they're saying. Um... A single-mindedness, they're saying. A will to win, they're saying. No backing down. <laughs> uh, and then I'm getting that line from Apocalypse Now. Never get out of the boat <laughs> unless, you, unless you go unless you've got all the way. <laughs> you never get out of the boat unless you've gone all the way. Something like that. So it's like finality to it as well. This is where you're getting out of the boat. Um, Let's get some cards out. Le never get out of the boat unless you're going to go all the way. That's what it is. So, yeah, you're going to go all the way, basically. Right. Magician, which is manifestation. So you've got everything that you need this month for the job that's required to be done. Number one, this is like a brand new start. It's having all your ducks in a row. It's been really unpowerful. He's got a really powerful gaze. It's like really powerful desire and will to get the job done, they're saying, and to see where it goes. There is no fear um, that's going to manifest. Basically, it feels like it feels like there is fear. It's inside, but it's locked down. So it is not, it's not, there's no outlet for the fear anymore. It's, in, it's actually, the fear is going to go once you get out of the boat. Um, so with a little bit of fear that's left, it's only because you just you haven't got out of the boat, but the, all the fear that was there as you were on the journey is gone. It's a tiny little bit of fear left. It doesn't mean anything at all because it's going to go when you get out of the boat and you look around and you see you're in paradise. Justice. Everything is right. And this is exactly the right thing, right? Exactly the right time. Exactly what you are meant to be doing. Exactly where you're meant to be. This is exactly right. So there's no doubt in your mind that you're exactly doing exactly the right thing for yourself this month and that you're arriving in the place that you're meant to be. 
Knight of Cups, romance, this is for love. So wherever it is you're arriving at, this is about love. So this is about coming into a relationship. It's about, um, I don't feel it's like meeting someone actually that you don't know. I feel it's like either coming back to someone that you know or having someone that you know arrive or um, yeah, coming back together with someone basically it feels like this month for you. It feels like there's a known quantity to the relationship, a known quantity to the love. So it's not an unknown which is why there's only a little bit of fear left and which is why it is going to be paradise paradise because it is the one so if you were to meet the one that you that was the one or come back together with the one and you looked into their eyes you would be looking into paradise because it's a known quantity it's known okay and then we've got king of pentacles which is a man again in the physical again it just feels like it's a man I know a lot of feminines watch this video, mostly they're female. Um, maybe some of the other signs we're going to get some more like about masculine energy, but this feels like a man that's coming back to somebody. I guess it could be a very masculine woman. I guess it could be as well. Yeah, it could absolutely be. Um, two of cups, we've got twin flames coming out right in the heart of the reading. So this is about me, this is the gaze, right? It's the twin flame eye gaze that's coming in. So it's like when you look up and you your eyes meet and you know that it's love, basically, which is paradise. What is better than love? Nothing. What is better than like that true whole love that you know exists between you and someone? That is like home, basically. Homecoming. Got that right in the middle. And then we've got the full a brand new journey. So brand new journey with whoever it is that you're meeting when you get out the boat. I've got someone waiting on the shore. I've got a feminine waiting on the shore. So it's two people coming back together, masculine and feminine. And the feminine looks like the Statue of Liberty as well. So like, um, you know, in like Grecian robes, holding a torch. A bit like justice, but more like the uh, Statue of Liberty. Holding a torch. So you've been holding a torch for someone, basically. It's who you've been holding a torch for that's coming home. Six of Cups, we've got Reunion, Twin Flame Reunion, Romance, Love, Incoming in the Knight of Cups there. So that's exactly what it is. It's just on a boat and not on a horse. <laughs> I think it's showing a boat because it's like got a V, you know, so it's very distinct, distinctly like pointing at where it's arriving. Um, what's next? Four of Swords. This is nothing to do, nothing to worry about, nothing to stress about. It's like the energy of this, incoming energy, is really relaxing. And again, it's like that twin flame energy. When you are with your twin flame, you feel like you are basically um, like just swimming around in a warm bath. You know, it's like the energy of being with that person is the most healing, soothing thing in the world. So that's why that's why it's so good that's why it feels so good so we've got that coming from this as well just feels like it's a it's a different let go it's a complete let go it's like a, a relief a relaxation a resolution an out breath okay a spiritual death they're saying it's like a spiritual death it's like um it's like everything you know, that you've ever dreamed of basically taking place in one moment. So it's kind of like just exiting the physical dimension and becoming at one with your soul self is what's coming for you in what comes in this month. And then we've got strength, we've got masculine and feminine tied together. So again, and it's just, again, they just show me that bit of rope. So the rope is like a knot. So it's who you're tied to. It's really strong. It does look like a really tough old bit of rope that you see down by the docks, you know, that's been there for centuries <laughs> and still like in Rotherhide in London, something like that, you know, that has been there for centuries and still has not broken. So that's what's incoming. Masculine and feminine coming together in the strength card. And underneath, six of pentacles, someone reaching out. This when it showed me at the beginning of the reading, I got this coming through, but it's kind of blurry. So I'm feeling that this maybe is even 
past as we get into August. So maybe this is the end of July, you're going to get someone reaching out and August is going to be the month of just like this, like swimming around in the, um, in the warm pools of Lemuria in a sense of like, I've got someone just humming, humming, you know, when you're really relaxed and you're just moving around and humming and it feels like you're not even, there's no sharp edges in your life. Everything feels like swimming in honey, feels like that. Uh, so... I'm going to leave you with that, Libra, um, that's it, lots of love, take care, see you next time.